My name is Danica Bueno. I'm an RN with my BSN. I work on a cardiac unit and I wanted to share some information with you. So when you come into the hospital and you have uh, respiratory alkalosis, which can be caused by anxiety or hyper, well, from hyperventilating, um, the treatment is this. Breathing in your own CO2. Now, why is that important? Because when CO2 gets into your bloodstream, it converts into acid. And so if you have respiratory alkalosis from breathing off too much CO2, this can be uh, life-threatening. And so um, breathing in your own CO2 can be the, the remedy for that. Um, it can reestablish pH balance of your bloodstream and is critical to saving these patients. Um, now, I wanted to share with you what this means. When you go out in public and you wear this at all hours of the day that you're outside, you are doing your body a disservice. You are creating an acidotic state of your blood. You are creating a pH imbalance. It is crucial to health to have a balance of pH in your bloodstream at all times. Why would you wanna disrupt that? You're not over, only breathing in your own bacteria, flora, the whole time because you're not getting fresh air, you're hurting your body by breathing in your own CO2 for long lengths of time. I also wanna share with you that this mask is highly, highly ineffective against viruses. Viruses are teeny tiny. And you may tell me, well, in my hospital, we wear an N95 mask. An N95 mask has to be fitted, first of all, and is <laughs> supposed to protect, protect you against TB. What is TB? It is a bacteria. There's a big difference between a bacteria and a virus. Mainly in size, a bacteria <laughs> is about a thousand times bigger than a virus. So if you're telling me that I'm protecting myself when I go to the grocery store by wearing this, you're wrong. I'm actually making myself more prone to infection, one, by, by uh, making my body acidotic, and two, <laughs> when you have one of these on, you touch your face more often. Viruses live on surfaces they're not alive until they enter the body. And so when you touch your face and your eyes continuously because you're adjusting the mask because you can't breathe, there's a problem with that. I want you to think about that. I want everyone to think about this. It's not common knowledge, apparently. <laughs> you're doing your body a disservice if you think that wearing a mask 24 seven is protecting someone because it's not. <laughs> I know I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for this. I don't really care. <laughs> I feel like it's time for people to stand up for what they know to be true. And I love science. I, I feel the human body is a miracle. Why are we working against it instead of for it? Tell me, why are we working against our immune system instead of for our immune system? Bump it up bump the immune system up. Stop trying to lower it down like we know better. We don't. The body knows far more than we ever will. And it can heal <laughs> if you give it the tools to do it. <laughs> um, I hope I hope that uh, sits in. Uh, if it doesn't go in line with your heart, feel free not to listen. I mean, it's all about listening to your heart now. It's all about doing what you know to be right. Um, I uh, have studied for a long time. I have found the body incredibly amazing the whole time I've studied. 
uh, and I'm I did a good job with my studies I'm I'm not someone that just uh, flew by school with the seat of her pants <laughs> uh, so hope this message hits home <laughs>